see yourself perfectly? How do you feel, man? Not bad, man. Yeah, I can see myself. Can you put the mic closer to your uh, damn face? All right, my bad. Yeah. Uh, you do you want to you want to get it over with? Yeah. Or we can do half. No. Dude, it's a it's a full one, bro. No, let's get it over with. I got it. Okay. I can take the spilled one. What spilled one? You spilled. You get get your get your damn water ready, bro. I'm scared too, man. I'm already scared. Fuck. Holy, bro! You want some? No, you you gotta you gotta drink your own. Look at mine. Look at mine, bro. All right. I'm I'm, I'm I might do half, low key. Nah, don't be a pussy. <laughs> Drinking. Okay. Cheers, mate. Damn, that was terrible. Ah, ah, ow. Yeah, I'm done. I'm retiring Kava after this. Ooh. Yeah, stupid, right? It's stupid. Okay. Ooh. So, uh, how are you, bro? I'm doing good. Long uh, day, how long is week. How are you doing? Well, why was it a long week or something? work i know you said people uh you know people said your outfit was good today yeah i don't know i bought a new flannel last week or two weeks ago for black friday treated myself out so it was worth it to try the new look so I got how, how is the um you know how is jerome as a a person in the uh you know how's jerome as a worker like are you cool do people make fun of you do i make fun of you people still make their mo their they have their fun moments against me at work Really? Yeah. Like it's, I like how positive you are because if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't say it was a fun moment. No, some some of these are like good moments. Like, but when they make fun of me, I, it's either I live with it or I have to report it. You know, but it's not that bad to report it. Everything's been fine. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what what was so crazy about this week? Back and forth, either going. For clients either getting admitted or we're getting discharged or they're getting put on holds. Do you know what a hold means? Uh, g give me a rundown. What's admitted? You know, in my head, you know, Keon's definition is you go in. Yeah, exactly. Admitted. Like you getting in from, for example, there's nurses like Erin or Christine. They're going to be sent into the hospital at the ED and then they're going to be like, oh, are we going to put you in a higher form of care because of how psychotic you are? Or are we going to set you down into a facility that's like where I work? So we're going to admit you, send all the necessary paperwork in to, you know, start treatment. Can I ask you something? That's what admission means. Yes. Um, can you put your body facing the camera and just look at me while turning your head? Don't move your body. What? You know how like in Kyle's podcast, you were like two in the camera. Now you're too into me. It has to be. A, it has to be exactly like that. Uh -huh. Like that. It has to be a. Okay. It has to be a sort of a balance. All right. My bad. So there's a damn. Uh, you know. You, uh, what do people get admitted in for? Well, for how psych psychotic people. I'm gonna are. eat a skyflake. You're gonna eat a skyflake. Go ahead. How psychotic you are, depending on how psychotic you are. Are you like? schizo psychotic bipolar psychotic well they're bad either way what's the most schizophrenic you've ever seen this client recently was admitted like almost a month ago and then he just discharged yesterday which means he left he has a solid discharge plan he's safe to go by the doctor he's cleared i he's know but just, like what what's the craziest schizo you've seen oh he was uh asking me to go smoke a cigarette with him and laughing like <laughs> okay i don't think that's necessarily like, schizo yes it is that's what a schizo is isn't like, schizo seeing visions yeah and he's seeing he's talking to, to things that we can't see obviously from within our normal eye he's hearing voices he's singing he's dancing to some voice he never heard of or heard of but we do our job to medicate them do you want one yes please we do our job to medicate the man dude i in high school when i was in french class right uh -huh. i had this mexican classmate named mark 
Okay. He had a dis. He had a di- identity disorder, right? Uh oh. You know his name. Like he, he has an identity disorder because one of the cool kids in the class was named Mark, but originally his name was Juan. Juan. And he just started going by Mark. That's scary. And he also was schizophrenic because I was taking a shit and I saw him look outside. He was just talking to the wall. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Like in one bathroom, right? There's this bathroom where people usually hook up and stuff. Yeah. Unfortunately. If you know what that is, no offense. Yeah, I do. Um, And then, like, this girl was given some oral, and then the yeah. rumor has it around school is that he was just talking outside to himself in the wall. So he wasn't really. No, the couple was like, dude, there's a hell of people outside. And then he was just talking to himself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He was also a weird dude. So uh, he pretended to be Goku in the middle of the road. Mm-hmm. And he was like, ah! you know Uh-oh. what I'm saying? That shit's weird, man. No, that's exactly like what I saw with this client, with this specific patient of ours. He was either talking to himself, seeing things, like either moving around too much when we have to do our hourly rounds, like in his bed, he can't sleep properly. But as weeks go on, like the week to one, week two, he's getting used to his medications because medications are a very important thing if you want to relax, calm down. Yeah, they're, they are important. Mm-hmm. In fact, uh, well, be, giving out medicine makes you feel like a nurse, huh? Yeah, giving medicines. I noticed that doctors. you like to text uh, whenever the nurses in our group chat talk about nursing. You always say, I passed her on medicine. I you said fucker. that. In, I you said, fucker. No, I haven't yeah, said that. You in, no, do. It's been a long you trying time. to relate? Uh oh. Skyflakes is good, by the way. Shout out to Skyflakes, man. It's awesome. So what? 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 Have, what else is the craziest thing, man? Oh, it's hitting. Yeah, it's hitting. Honestly, that's just probably one of the, the most hitting one. But today, today was probably by far the worst hold I've ever seen a client went through. Can you, can you explain what a hold is? So, if you are being put on a hold, that means you are not medically able to do the treatment that we're signed up for. Because this is a lower living care facility, mm-hmm. and we need you to do, like, certain activities. We need you to be ambulatory. Do you know what ambulatory means? No. That means you're able to move and be active. You don't need support, like, you know, like you're an old man. You know how, old, like, retirement homes, they need help to do certain things. They're not ambulatory. They need to move. They need to be active. So this guy, the past week while he was here, I already knew right away when I did his intake paperwork. I was like, yeah, this guy, there's no way this guy won't last long. Not to be a dick or anything, but like, there's no way. He's 66. He's like, he's already having complaints from his previous owner. So he's already complaining about paperwork. He's already complaining about his shoes. He stole the switch from a kid from the facility, which made her cry. And come to me and I have to go talk about, you know, the, the usual thing where I have to go talk to them and get a fix. Anyways, he was put on a hold today because he was gravely disabled. Like how? Like, is he missing a limb or a chromosome? He's not missing any limbs or chromosome. He's just missing the active, you know, push for him to walk, to do what he needs to do, to stay active. But the guy's too old for that. He loses. He doesn't wear his shoes. He doesn't wear like the shoes that we give him. Damn. That's one of the weird weird symptoms that I've been seeing like people do just What what was he think. what's a diagnosis? Hmm? What what does he have? Schizophrenia bipolar. Woo. Yeah. I have 20. A big point one out. too, bro. Yeah. So it just took a while for a hold cuz usually a hold is usually quick. Like AMR comes in, the ambulance team just says, "Hey, come in. You have to go be sent to the hospital because your caseworker told you." But this guy was like, "No. I don't want to get in." I don't deserve to be in this. But then it took like 20, 30 minutes later for it to happen. So while I was gone picking up medications, talking to the pharmacist, I come back. He's still not on hold. That's crazy, bro. So what a crazy day, I guess. Ironic, isn't it? So I know you were like, uh, you were, when I was your, you know, your college mate, um, you went to a transition from nursing to psych. Can you explain why nursing didn't work out and why you chose psych? In a second, it's hitting. God. Gosh. It's hitting. <laughs> it's hitting. It's hitting, man. 
Oh, drinking water was worse. Um, uh, so, yeah, low key, low key. So nursing from August 2017 to, geez, April 2018. Yep. I, it was just tough. I mean, I really wanted to try. I've tried studying. I've tried going to the study guides. I've tried going to the, the study rooms with my classmates. But it just unfortunately never ended up working out. It's, it was just too hard for me with all the terminology from anatomy to the labs work. And I can't believe how that's when I felt down on myself. Because if my friends could do it, like I started meeting you guys and hang out with that and with the others. You guys had the opportunity to do it. I was like, wow, these guys are just really smart for me. Like I called myself dumb multiple times. But then I realized maybe nursing isn't my major. I mean, maybe you're not dumb. Maybe you're just, you know, I know a lot of geniuses who don't put in the effort, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, like Aaron, because he's naturally smart. Uh, How did like, you feel about it? Me? Yeah, uh, from your nursing to the switch of kinesiology, right? Or you switch before to something else before kinesiology? I switched to kinesiology because it's something I was always passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, in the nursing thing, I, I, I don't think I did that bad. I was a A B student. Um, I had no C's in GCU. I should have applied to the nursing, but um, uh, my advice to you is: there's no secret sauce. Like you just have to put the hours. Yeah, that's literally that was literally what everyone is saying. But it just everyone has that you know key to studying properly in nursing. I don't like the key, and I I haven't I've never figured out the key. So. With all the bad grades, and I was like, this is I mean, terrible. there's no key. Like, it's just hours. That's your key. Like, uh, everything was on the study guide, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take a break. Oh, shit. Ooh. Bro. Holy shit, man. I want a jacket like that. That's just the Philippines. You want a five-minute break? Sure. What's up, gang? Uh, we're taking a little break because this, you know, this Hawaiian root is doing its thing. Yep, it's feeling, it's heading. Hey, you'll see the damn, <laughs> you'll see our break, bro. But go ahead. You were talking about like nursing. Mm -hmm. What were you struggling in like anatomy? Dude, I struggled within the first exam. Exam one, I was like, oh my god, I know it's only one exam, but let's see if I could do better. I studied a lot. I studied like this might sound bad. Honestly, is like studying three to four times a week bad, or you need more than that? I mean, it just depends on us, right? It just depends on how quick we gather the information and how we apply it right away. I mean, there's different types of people. Yeah, I know. Like for me, sorry. Ooh, the drink. People, um, I know people, there's a lot of people like me, which is like a PowerPoint soldier. Mm -hmm. There are other people who like to draw. Yeah. And then there are people that like to read, right? Visuals, drawers, readers. Yeah. Me, I have to take all of it. I had to. I had no other choice. I mean, do you think you're dumb? I think you're dumb in another way. We'll get to that topic later because I want to know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're not street about. smart. Oh, definitely idiot. not. Uh -uh. <laughs> you fucking idiot. No, I'm not no street smart, but school smart. I mean, we all have, I got a degree. Does that make me school smart? Probably not. But like. I don't have a degree yet. But you're street smart. Are you school smart? I don't know yet. Fuck you, bro. I'm close. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's about damn time. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, no, but like. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> um. No, not for the nursing part. Psychology part, yes, I would say. But nursing part, I don't think so, unfortunately. Do you think you're, you know, do you think passion goes into education? Like, you know, like you're smart in something you care about, but not necessarily smart about something that's just given to you. Yeah, I would say passion is huge on your education because it's going to help you within your future. Yeah. It's going to figure out what, you, what career you're going to choose. So the hard work and the passion that you pull through in school... That will figure out what kind of career you're going to do. That's going to help you push forward into life. It's going to help you keep moving forward. If you lack that passion, unfortunately, I see it that way, that you're probably not going to get too far. But a lot of people that I've met, they've been awesome with passion. They've been like focusing hard on it, especially with management on their time, management on their social life. Passion is pretty huge in our life. You think so? Yeah. I you think, think that's what drove, you know, our genius friends yeah 
passion and the looking ahead into the future uh as a guy who struggled no offense how was the household like household at home yeah you know because you know you you didn't feel so hot during whatever number exam you took in the nursing uh genre of your college life how was it did it did you feel discouraged and did your parents make you feel uh discouraged as well because they were just blasting you with the do betters and you were you're better than that dude the cough is hitting hold on <laughs> but honestly i felt bad every time i like went home for a break because there was no like there was no point of like lying just say the truth like hey i really did bad on exam one and now exam two exam three and then we had those talks where you know i was like dude, the sky thinking, flex isn't helping it's not i mean it's still good but like it's still not all right go ahead my oh, bad no you're good man it just i had that talks and i knew right away like after december no yeah after december we had one more shot of the semester i should have honestly switched after the fall semester but i wanted to push myself forward if you don't mind me asking since we're getting personal like what was your lowest grade huh. <laughs> just say the letter really bad, really bad. Look, what what's the like d lab was terrible no oh you, better i don't know if this camera rotates but it's the letter f lab was bad really yeah especially the muscle lab part do you remember the muscle lab where we had to figure out those were what was those the car car cadaver cadavers yeah <laughs> yeah that's when that was the really that was the terrible part and everything else was like c c plus c minus i mean i know a lot of i know like i can say three people who got into the nursing program through c's uh-huh however re like like you know like in lab it's not even concept what do you mean by that it's just remember yeah but like especially when it dude i kid you not bro the terminology look uh, i would say i'm like uh i was in the dark about stuff but shout out mary i basically did like an all-nighter when the vegans formed mm -hmm. and then after 2017 or 2018 was that second semester of your nursing career first oh wow okay dude all i did was read the slides yeah like uh i guess it's uh i guess it's hard if you don't know how yeah so i think for some courses conceptual is the way but for things like lab dude all you got to do is memorize because the body ain't gonna change it's you know unless evolution or something because like you know the fibula and tibula are always there the patella is always there mm -hmm. the damn uh Pessoas main or Pessoas major will they'll, they'll always be there but uh yeah. what was it just a memorization thing it was definitely that because i didn't realize how i didn't realize like what you quote on the lab part and memorization i didn't realize that until after i switched to psychology it was just a memorization it was just so much i just don't know why i can't apply it all in my head that quick like you guys even if i started early i started like two weeks early to study on these terms because i knew like these are the important parts that were going to be on the exam. My professor gave me the, our professor gave us during class like what was going to be on the exam, and I still couldn't somehow do it. Do you beat yourself up over that? Not really. I just wish I, like, if I were to talk to my younger self, it's like everything's going to be okay. But I wish I had that like other reality where I was a nurse, you know, and joined everyone else technically. It's okay, I'm there too. But you're right there in the kinesiology major. You're almost done. You so have do you think, uh, do you, you hold kines as in the same level of a nurse? Oh, that depends how similar your career is going to be within a nurse. Like, what are you trying to be? Or like, never mind. Uh, PT, so, right? so you want to be, you know, something that's medically inclined to do medical stuff to patients? Yeah, that that's kind of similar to like nursing. I mean, I guess medically, like, I guess, yeah. Dinner. Well, it just depends. On, like, You're trying to help people get better. Yeah, what's well, like, like your day-to-day -day tasks in regards to those medical tasks compared to what a nurse does? Mm. For me, I think it is. I mean, I see patients every day. I don't give meds every day because there's other staff to do that now. I train them, which is awesome. It's always nice to see myself train people. I've never saw myself like that in like a year ago. But, but anyways, yeah, it's just the, it's just the tasks independent 
and depending on what you're going to do. Dude, I'm not going to lie, bro. The psychology of school is crazy. Yeah. Like if you if you're not doing so hot, you're going to be depressed whether you like it or not. People will say I'm behind, but the, I think educationally, I I think there's such thing as a educational dep- depression. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. People are going to go through that stuff in life, especially like with me with the major. Honestly, I wouldn't I I'm not sure if I went through that. I mean, I did feel sad. Maybe I did. It's just I didn't realize was it was I actually depressed. You know, it was just like, oh crap, am I gonna fail after one year of college of not going to nursing? What's my other plan, dude? I didn't know you had an F. That's terrible. No it offense. Is. No, no, you're right. It's it's fine to get real, man. It's just let's just look back and just look back in life and see like where you are now. It's just it was unfortunate timing, but good thing I had a backup plan. So it's good to have backup plans, especially in college, because you kind of still have time. How did your parents react? I mean, your backup plan was like immediate, low key. Because no. sophomore year, you were a psych major. Yeah, but like that's it's, still very early, bro. People, people switch junior year and a half in. When was your backup plan? When did you switch junior year too? Yeah, that's why I'm hella late. So sophomore year, you were still a nurse. You mm-hmm. finished that off. Well, I don't know if you finished it off. You'd like, did you drop out of it? If you don't mind me asking, did you drop out of it? You like, qu- like, you wanted to switch majors right away. Mm-hmm. Like okay. I, I was, I, w- I always wanted to switch a major, but for me it was a money problem. Okay. Like, uh, you know, I could be a nursing major. Like, if I stayed a nursing major, I still wouldn't be there, because um, at that point, bro, uh, my sister was at a uni, so I don't know what that is. University. Oh. <laughs> My parents were like, you're paying for someone's going to go out and it's going to be one because uh, not both. Okay. So it kind of sucked, man. I think that's hey, where that's the- that's a nice big brother move, though. I mean, you, I mean, it unfortunately affected like what you wanted to do. But It like, wasn't a big brother move. There was, there was a little uh, hostile uh, feelings, but- Oh, man. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the source of my damn- uh, you know, it, 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 it's it's my what if. Because mm-hmm. a part of me really wanted to stay elope, man. But it's sometimes fun. life uh, does things. We were set. We were ready for you to be our roommate junior year. And then and then you see this random black guy. Like, <laughs> who's this guy? And then bro? this military guy that kind of correlated to Janelle. Shout out to him, by the way. Yeah. But like, yeah, it was him, the black dude, and the military guy. But it was good. It was not bad. Mm-hmm. It wasn't bad. Then Evan left after, I believe shortly after, it was Evan first. But anyways, yeah, it was just an interesting year, that year. I Switch. mean, wasn't it the most lit? That's tough. Because remember, like, within the last episode, it was either freshman or junior year for most of us. No, freshman, junior, or sophomore year. I wouldn't say junior because we cut off last too soon. That was the year of COVID when we left at, like, a mo- when we saw a month and a half to make potential memories. I would say sophomore year. Oh, that was a weird year for me. Yeah. So, uh, when did were you always interested in psychology as a, you know, a person? I never thought about it. I only thought about it because my mom did it. My dad was oh. a nurse, so I followed through. And then my mom was a psych major, and so then I was like, okay, let me try. It. You really thought of it last minute, like I thought. You know, you were like passionate about psychology, and you were gonna do nursing because you're, you know. Nope. We're Filipino, and then psychology was like a fail safe. I can't believe that I looked these three, four majors as a backup plan. It was either business admin, can't believe that, sports management, because I love sports. I love the Kings. Like the beam, by the way, man. Like the beam. Sports management, and oh crap, what was the other one? It was, I can't forget the other one, but psychology was like one of the last things. I can't remember. But at the end of the day, it was psychology because I was reading through the descriptions and the potential majors and the jobs. Wanted to help people. I just, I've always wanted to see myself help people in somehow, some way. If it's not nursing, find another way. Like, you'll be in the room with them inside the building instead of behind the desk. No offense. Sorry, I just can't do behind the desk jobs. I just want to be active moving around. And right now, I'm doing well with that career, per se. Okay, so it doesn't matter as long as your major gets you working in the vicinity of your homies. I would. What do you mean vicinity of my homies? Like nearby, like location-wise, or like 
you know, like, uh, are there psycho are there psychology personnel in a hospital? Sir, because that's the end of the goal. That's the end. Exactly, because like that's the end goal. You know, like if I were you, I wouldn't trip because a damn uh, anyone can be in a hospital, bro. You can have a cannibal in there. Damn. No, it's just part of me, honestly. Like, I don't know if I told you this yet, but like a part of me is like scared on the inside because one, we're getting older. You know, it's just like, oh crap! Like, you know, there's Austin and Aaron. They have their, you know. Oh, you know, I don't know if I could say it here, but they have their like building set in stone. Yeah, it's just you can that. Say that. That's it's not just, a cuss word, bro. That's no, not, not the N-word. no, it's not a cuss word. So they probably just want to keep it within themselves. But they have their building set in stone. They already have a place to, you know, potentially live. And I'm still here looking for my like main main career job, where it's like a long term job, you know, where I could stay for like two plus years. But that's not yet. I think this is the job that will help me get there. You know. But it's so, nice to work and get that experience and help out the mentally ill. Can you give me a rundown of how easy it is to find a job as a psych, you know, graduating with a psych major? Took me a month. Because uh, sometimes in the online community, psych majors get blasted, but they also get a good gig. What do you mean by blasted? By like they, they criticize you in your in your LinkedIn or like... Oh, you know, like X person thinks it's not lucrative mm. i could see that <clears throat> i i could definitely see that because some people could criticize out there like hey this psych mate the psych major isn't gonna do you much like so you're not gonna help within the community well i would say i did it took me a month and a half to look through I well say, i feel like if there's people involved like a clientele uh-huh. it's paid more than most yeah like uh no offense communications mm-hmm. right yeah communication unless you work for like buzzfeed or something yeah buzzfeed is a good one if you work there but communications honestly i could see less pay than psychology it has to well what what's your like when you first graduated what was your first job position title behavioral health therapist for them children is that different from a behavioral tech yeah, because one, I'm working with kids. Second, I'm working with adults. Complete different dynamic. Some of these, there because the the behavioral health therapist, I'm working with kids that are diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder, or in short, autism, or in short, autistic. How do you do that? Like, uh, let yes, you have a psych. Is it just a psych major, or do you need a test to qualify your ass for the? The duty of the job. You're gonna get a test six months in after you get the job. It's like it's like a way of proving that you're up for the job and you're up for the registered title. Which is weird to say that you're registered for it after six months on the job. It's just they're gonna test you if you know the knowledge of do you know how to positively reinforce this kid? Do you know how to appropriately teach this way through applied behavioral analysis, which is the the big three letters, shout out to Ollie because he does that job right now. That's the way to help out those kids. Positive reinforcement. It's either you listen to my command or you don't get what you want. Uh, no, like, I mean, no offense. Are the kids like, uh, are they on the spectrum or are they just, you know, you know, do they have something bad with their head like uh anger issues like is it as simple as that or is it like a spectrum only type thing no you could see the behavioral behaviors because that's when we read on the report that's what we read on the the how do i say this the assessment within our supervisors i read through that and then we look through like the potential behaviors and then they make this plan that me and my supervisor has to read through we read that, look at the potential behaviors. I kid you not, when I first got assigned to this kid, the behaviors went too, went too fast. Within like five minutes, I was like, uh-oh. And honestly, I was, I felt so embarrassed because I didn't know what to do with the behaviors because I've never seen this client, 10-year-old, that has anger issues. He was throwing the beanbag chair across his room. It's just a beanbag. No, and then the chair. <laughs> and he almost grabbed my iPad and then I had Motherfuck to use, was doing a ladder tornado. I had to use what strength I had whatsoever back in the year stronger. 2021. Now I'm getting stronger. I feel stronger. Come on, man. Due to the workouts. Anyways. What, 15 pounds for seven years? Mm-mm. 
Sure, buddy. <laughs> 15 pounds for two years. And then 20, 25, gradually 35 right now. It's awesome. How crazy are kids? Huh? Like, uh, does it get to the point where you're like, yo, kids are scary? Sometimes, yeah, because it's just their behavioral issues. Honestly, I don't know why I said that, but it's just true. So, like, uh, I know people who are like, I'm scared of women, but does that job make you scared of kids? Some days, because I just, uh, honestly, you just have to look forward. Like, are they going to be beha- behavioral? If you know what that means, like, are they going to, am I going to encounter behaviors or I'm not? It's either a tantrum or not. It's either. It's a, like, I feel like it's either a not. tantrum or gross. What do you mean by like that? What do you mean by gross in, in, in your perspective? You know, like, uh, you have to get bit. You, like, I think you told me you occasionally get bit on. Yeah, but I've blocked it There's also, it like, off. pee and poop incidents. I've never really... Well, both of my kiddos were potty trained, so that wasn't an issue. Dude, I feel like there's some kids who make a piss water slide. Really? Yeah, like, you never see all that, seen that before, bro? Uh-huh. Like, a, you got a seven-year-old, What bro, are you watching? And then they piss on a, the, they piss on a slide, and then the, another dude just cowabungas if a kiddo does that in my work job or any work facility at least at this point bring an extra pair of clothes or call your mom or dad hey your kiddo did something pretty unfortunate today is that you right now Uh uh-uh so no you had a behavioral therapist right yeah which is something that you need to you get you need to get a degree and get a exam later Mm mm-hmm what did you did you go from that to your current job now no because it's i just got the registered title and i just applied i just applied my knowledge into the into the kids i had more harder kids if that makes sense with more behavior so i did that for like another year and then i ended up quitting that job because i saw myself in a better position where i could see myself expand my psychological career with adults so it was just that Bro, I really that's didn't tough, have to do huh? anything. Hmm? I feel like adults are stronger and more feral. Yeah, I think I prefer the adults over the children because the children kind of is repetitive task. The only thing that's different is the com- the task we command them. Like if like for example, say my name or say J, repeat after me. Um, do this. For example, I do what is it to grab this apple grab this banana it's so just like what i'm getting from you is like if it's a kid it's like a slow burn right so it's like a nine to five with the same repetitive task but with adults it's like it's shorter and i feel like you get more story like you know it's either nine to five doing the same thing or like two hours experiencing maybe violence kind of right you're you're yeah i would per se because it's different Every day at this job right now at Roseville, it's been different. It's never the same. It's either it's a quiet day or it's not a qu- or it's a new day with with um with new tasks. Really? Well, so what what task is that? Registered? So for are we talking about the RBT job, the registered behavioral tech? Or so you were a behavioral therapist, therapist mm-hmm. and then like, did you have three jobs or two? Too. this is my second one right now currently okay so you're the manager now well not really i'm like the top i'm like one of the management positions there's my boss she's the program director there's this great co-worker of mine he's the program assistant and then there's me no no associate director and then there's me the program assistant do you show up every day with a smile on your face yeah honestly i i feel like i always say hi to everyone before i clock in it's always Damn. nice to show a smile to everyone, no matter what kind of days you're going through. Okay. Yeah. How my morale do, how, is always like an eight when I come to work. It's like, I want to go to work, get this experience, you know. Um. What What's your goal? My goal? After this experience, hopefully I could finally find that job that's going to get me to the long-term pay. What, like Not six figures? Pay, the long-term, well, besides the long-term pay, because the pay always comes in with every job. It's uh the long-term consistency that makes sense instead of leaving one job and then going to another one then leaving again and then going to another one. Oh, so you think this is a job but you want a career yeah like i could see myself working with adults but in a better setting you know instead of like in a hospital you know instead of in a county building that's connected with a psych hospital and another residential facility i could see myself in a hospital excuse me <coughs> a drink since you're deep in the psych uh archive, still feeling it yeah you 
I feel more dizzy, but not. I feel I'm getting better. In terms of the psych archives, what's the most lucrative it can get without a master's or a PhD? Like how hard it could get? No, lucrative means well-paying. If you know. Like well-paying job? Yeah, just the bachelor's. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, I wish the... Since I wish the the starting pay or like the you know how we all get hired and we hi- and we find the hiring pay right away i wish it was hard mm-hmm. because one i work with these adults that are going through stuff i'm giving medications or making treatment reviews care plans that will help them that will get them better but it is what it is that's why you work hard for it to get that raise and i've been getting that raise i've been so you get a raise with each like is there a, a seniority raise if that makes sense six month review to see how you're doing and i'm glad i did well on that six month review and after that it's a year and then promotion and then another promotion so far i've been getting like three or four raises do you think that it's lucrative not enough okay so uh can you at least like what, what what's the uh that job you're looking at You know, because the position you are in now, like, I want to get at least two years of this so I can get this job. It's got to be like a behavioral health slash psychology title that doesn't involve being a doctor or a therapist in the hospital. Something between those titles. I don't know specifically the title yet. I've been looking around every other week or so. Not every day because of the job right now. Every other week to see what it's like, you know. I have that year experience. I think I could go a couple more months with this new title that I have, which is the program assistant. And then we'll see where life goes. That's the good, that's the end goal. Like hopefully in a bigger known hospital slash clinic. Dude, Ollie, Ollie works with someone who's like, you know, 95K to 100 a year. That's awesome for him. He's, he's found a place like that. I wish I found a place where I worked like that in my very first job. But again, I didn't think of I mean, Roseville. I'm pretty sure that person who does the who does those numbers doesn't necessarily, you know, she's not necessarily new. She's probably a senior in type in that type of field. Mm-hmm. What was your major again? Exercise science, emphasis in rehab. OK, how was your how was it like now with your with your job is it going okay yeah it's pretty good man old people fall <laughs> was mm-hmm. it a no touch policy where you could help them oh i need to touch oh, okay because ours isn't i i let an old man fall today at work really i feel so bad i was like oh crap i was like i said it in a nonchalant way i can't you do cover round two after this cover round two i don't think i can it's too hard i still feel it no shit yeah. well that being said um do uh Cause uh, is there a position in a hospital that you know of? No, not yet, because a lot of it is like behavioral health therapist, which I can't do because I need to be a master's, and that master's is like in the back of my head. I'm still planning to do it. It's still like a list up there, but right now I just need to save up for it. Why are you not doing it? I need to save up for it. It's I mean, kind of FAFSA. It's, it's pricey. Yeah, and I have the. I mean, we like have you loans said, right bro, now. we're we're hella old. <laughs> I know we're running out of time, but then I was like, if somehow, some way, I'm taking that huge risk of getting the experience now and seeing what I could do with it afterwards. But I still have in the back of my head. I'm looking at schools, you know, Bay Area online. Maybe go back to GCU. It depends on what. All he's doing there. online, and he's doing great. Yeah, I'm glad he is. It just depends on. Are you motivated enough to go to school again? I'm probably gonna have to switch my schedule. You know, instead of full time, be a part time, like what my coworker recently just did. Okay, but bachelors only. Is it possible to do fifty five hourly, that's or is like, that that's is probably like part time? Part time. Wait, no, fifty five hourly. Depends. Fifty five times eight is what two forty something. If you could do the math. I don't know, but that's. Ali told me that his homie, who was his also, who was also his coworker, does those numbers like fifty to fifty-five. I don't know, but you know, it's a hundred k a year. That's awesome. Maybe he's is he full time? Yeah, and I I believe it's a bachelor's only. So, if you know a bachelor's only psych degree or like a psych job that can uh, get those numbers. Let me know. I'll try. Why do Why do you want to? It's your your exercise science major, though. I know. I'm I'm looking out for Libby. I'm thinking about the future. She's a psych major. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, my bad, Libs. <laughs> I forgot that you're a psych <clears throat> major. Really? She wasn't a psych major, right, when we were in GCU? Or she was, too. Mm-hmm. But uh, I always thought she was a nurse. She might, no, she might do something with uh, psychiatric nursing. I don't know, but I'm always here to help her. You She'll know. do great, like what we all did. We're all going through that path. We're doing great right now, so shout out to her group, our friend group. Yeah. She'll do great. She'll be fine. Do, um, so what? what is the highest you think people can earn as a dama, you know? A year? In year. my position? Or like just in general, like higher positions? What's going on with your headset? No, there was a lawnmower out there. Oh. <laughs> no, but uh, what, what, from what you know, what's the highest someone can get with just a psych bachelor's degree? That's tough. Maybe it's kind of bad. Like maybe hopefully between 125 to 150K a year. If Kyle was here right now, he'd probably roast the heck out of me because he's like, that's low. That's so low. And then I was like, I'm just guessing off my marketing experience. No, I think uh, 150K a if year? it's above one 100, it's good. Really? Yeah. But yeah. if, you know, he told me that if it's 100, it's good. But if, if, if you're 200, that's kind of uh, that's kind of the situation we're in because we live in NorCal. Mm-hmm. That's probably ideal, but 100 isn't bad by that's any thing, means. Yeah, it's California. It's we have an opportunity to have. To if have you don't jobs. mind me asking, what job is that? What? What what's the one fifty k? What 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 job position is that? I'm not sure. I was just guessing, like scientifically guessing off the top of my head. It's just with a bachelor's degree, it's probably one of those titles that you could find in. Why don't you get into research? Like I don't I don't know what about about research enough, but like I've heard that people who do research can get a decent living. I've looked uh, I've looked on it. I've looked online about it. I looked at UC Davis on it. UC Davis has been posting a lot of clinical research about it and relates to the brain and how the oh, brain hold works. Going to use psychology to figure out the brain. Yeah, I would say because it's the study of the brain. I just want to see how it works and focus more on the lobes and each lobe and it's their task: occipital, temporal, parietal. I believe there's a couple more. I can't remember the others. But it was a it, it was that was a fun. Mandolin amaglara. That wasn't one of it. It's part of the brain, though. No, it's not. I'm medulla a, amaglada. Medulla am, oh, it is. Yeah, see, the anatomy screwed me over, man. The anatomy in in, um, in our in the nursing class was was bad. How was your head? How was your headspace when you did the transition? It was tough because remember, it was like, did year. your parents judge you, or were they supportive? Supportive because they were. They obviously they had those days where they were like upset, like how come you couldn't do better. But then at the same time, they were like, we'll be here for you. Just figure out what you're going to do. But at the same time, you're leaving the school. This is what, this is before, you know, I came back. But, like, we had the chance of leaving the school. I had to do t- tests and exams to get into Folsom Lake, to Sac City. And then maybe I could have transitioned to either Sac State or another public school down in socal but i ended up we that, saved your ass bro no i never ended up doing that because shout out to keon christine austin aaron am i missing anybody else i think mary no. mary no mary wasn't there she was there she was not there we went to her house after okay but she wasn't there in the house i you sure yeah because i have the picture oh yeah so shout out to them unless i'm wrong i'm sorry then <laughs> but like she was there and then you guys were not she was there you guys were there and it just changed my mom's and dad's you know thought i was like he found his friend group he found a good support group that will probably help him through college and after that the rest is history lucky you bro yeah Why my would parents would never do that really mm-hmm. even if you like i mean look at you now like after you you left um gcu because of what is it money issues instead of great issues i mean they still supported you right yeah but like you know uh they would never have that empathy where oh your group your your heart is there oh i think i know what you mean yeah like they're not gonna be you know they're not gonna let it slide just because it's a good feeling Mm -hmm. you know i see 
Yeah, man. Just imagine the damn uh, multiverse of what could have happened. Yeah. I wish that was a thing here in reality. Like, a what could, what if. Like, we could see, like, scenarios in our life. You know, like, we, like, look at past big moments in our life and we have, like, those multiple pathways. What was your canon event, you think? Canon event. Jeez. Um, it was definitely the switch. I feel like it was. Because... It was either how my psychology career could be or the nursing career. Because mm. within the nursing career, everybody found a decent job at first, and then they switched their long-term jobs. Nursing? Yeah. So you're telling me people quit from what you experienced? Probably. Maybe. It just depends on their first payment, payment, first job, and how they, how they got their experience in the payment. Damn. What was yours? My canon event? Was it in regards to degrees? Was it in regards to social activity, people? <laughs> could be anything i don't know man i had a weird life so far i think my canon event was uh i learned the most wisdom after i broke up with my ex that like, was 2017 18 or this was yeah, before we met that that was a lot of wisdom on my ass okay yeah um people will judge that's 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 what i know but you know you just got to keep going forward you feel me exactly it's, it's exactly what I was going to say. People are going to judge and criticize you. It's not about how you like fall down to the judgment and criticism. It's about how you push forward and get better at it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I'm on that side where it's not going to matter how what kind of other people's comments you know matter to you. It's just about I yourself. think you're on the side where like, why is this still a thing? What do you mean? You're like, why, why, are we, why are we still doing this? I mean, yeah. I mean, because it's like it's the past. I mean, it's the past. We don't need to bring it up. We're all moved on from it. Like I said, keep pushing forward or keep moving forward so why not yeah there's more positive things to talk about instead of the past how do you be you how do i be me because uh you catch a lot of strays i don't know what that means but uh, you get picked on a lot yeah I, I, I get i get bullied too but you do not get you. bullied throughout yeah. the college life you were never bullied barely we we had our jokes with you, but it wasn't like, ha ha, you, you know, like, it was like a made fun of type of thing. But I got used to oh, it. Oh, we do that a lot with you. I got used to it. I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to be physical about it. I'm not going to be verbally aggressive about it. Because you're skinny. Not that I'm skinny. I feel like I'm getting stronger, by the way. It's just that I don't have the reason to. You guys are my good friends. You guys are, I consider you guys my close friends. That's why. I, no Despite how having did it. all those jokes jabbed at you. Yeah. You're going to run into those people, but at the same time, they're still your friend. It's like it's like you're saying, I'm going to make fun of you, but I don't really mean it that way. Oh, you know? so you, you know it's a bit. I know it's coming. I know it's been a lot. Honestly, it's been a lot, but like, I didn't cut you guys off. <laughs> I feel it. How was your high school life? 2013 to 2017 eh, it was eh. i wasn't really social i wasn't really active were you popular or no. were you were I, you treated the same if you i tried to be the guy that wanted to get friends with a lot of people but that never ended up really happening it's kind of hard in high school it is because you know you can't you know, you're in a confinement and you can't necessarily drive the majority of it what do you mean drive? Oh, I get it because you don't have your license. Unless license you're a super yet. duper senior. Yeah, that's that didn't happen until my junior year. Freshman was tough. I was tiny. I was skinny. I was tiny. Um, I was struggling with some high school classes. But then I pushed through. Sophomore year was getting better. What's your kryptonite? I did. My like, kryptonite. are you bad at science? Are you bad at writing? Are you it was bad math. At math? Math was hard. Pre-algebra, I can't believe I'm saying this. Pre-algebra was tough, and then algebra one was no, it was algebra one in ninth grade, algebra two in sophomore year, and then geometry. Geometry was Sokotoa, bro. Sokotoa, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Opposite now. of Habda hypotenuse. Mm -hmm. That was tough. Math was my kryptonite, if anything. I was doing fine in science class for crying out loud in high school. What was your first kiss like? My first kiss. I never had my first kiss until recently. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't have that life. Like no, you, guys you, you did. told me. You told me something else. No, you were playing Mario Kart. Okay, that was just your. Oh yeah, that first kiss. That was just out of the way. Huh? That was just out of the way. 
What do you mean out of the way? I don't know. I just le- we just had a moment and I ended up getting that motorboat. No, you did tell me that. Yeah, but can you tell me the sound? I'm not gonna tell you the sound. Did it sound okay? Close your eyes. Why would I close? Did it my- sound something like this? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess I don't want to like with Mario Kart in the background. Let's go. <laughs> no, it was Luigi. Hmm? It was Luigi's voice because it was Luigi. But that was the moment. That was the past. That was just like, it's your first time. Get it out of the way. But that was it. I didn't really go through much action or through much experience in high school like everybody else did. I, I barely did. Well, how was your high school life like throughout the four years? Would you say it was one of the best experience in your life? If anything, what was the best part? Which one was the best grade? I mean, I would say so. Like, I think people like me would say a lot of experiences are the best experiences. Really? Because my high school life was a great experience my time in gcu was a great experience and i even had a i ended up having a good time you know outside of gcu like did, did from year, then to sipping news did each year help you become a better person than you were now yeah good that's what matters as long the way as long as you like i said push yourselves forward to become a better person yeah that's awesome do you do you think that uh you know do you regret having no action <laughs> no why it's because you didn't need it we don't need it i mean i i don't really think we needed it really yeah there's no yeah. point if you find someone the mm-hmm. action isn't there unless you have someone people do the hookup thing people do the smash and pass smash and dash and then that's pretty much it mm-hmm. for me i would just live in my life in high school to see how i do so when did you really start having a friend group that you considered fam, family? Not, not in high school. Um, in general, in not your in life. Not in high school. It was tough in high school, but I was like trying to get close with some of them. Did it work? Okay. Sort of. Sort of kind of work because I still kind of keep contact with them. I but mean, it, like I, I haven't met them. Because I'm not really close to them like how I'm close with you and the others. So I would say I'm closer with them and I would introduce you guys to them if there was ever an opportunity. But there was not high school. It was mostly college. It was mostly you guys. Really? Yeah. It was that nursing group chat that we all had. I think I was blessed because I think I had, you know, a steady amount of friends Uh my whole life. Yeah. But the one that hurts most that it ended was the college one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a what if, bro. Like, I should have stayed. But you still have some of them, though. I have all of them, but I'm just not a reacher router. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. I get it. You don't want to take the initiative, or you don't need to take the initiative anymore? It's more like I'm scared. I mean, I feel like it wouldn't mi- be mindful if you do that when it comes to your future wedding day. Oh, yeah, I when know. When you'll probably invite, like, a lot of people that you haven't seen in a while. Do you see your wedding being hella lit? Huh, I think so. Music that people will enjoy, food that people will enjoy. It's going to be awesome, especially with people that I haven't seen in a while. It's going to be an awesome like reunion. It's like what you said with yours. It's going to be a reunion that we haven't seen or that we're going to be looking forward to because we haven't seen them in a while. I feel it. All of them are doing good right now. Yeah, most of them are. Do you ever get uh, jealous because you were the guy who didn't get any? No. I'm not going to let something bring me down and get make me feel jealous of not having it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have it. It's just a matter of when, not if. Mm-hmm. That's the type of confidence you're going to have. If I didn't believe that, then there was no point of me having it. So it was not a matter of if. It was a matter of when. I was going to have some action. Excuse me, my throat because of the drink. It was a matter of when. Yeah, uh, I'm going to close my door for the next set of questions. Ooh. We are pushing through with this drink, man. Ooh, can you descri- can you describe the first time you had action? Oh boy. This was recently. Um Like I feel like some guys are different. Uh some people prioritize the action. Some people want money like Kyle. Some people want, you know, just a healthy relationship. Some want to get married. Some want that piece of property. Uh, I can tell it wasn't very high up there for you. Well, huh? yeah, because I just feel like I felt like you didn't care. 
I did care. I did care what you said. Kyle does want money first. Kyle no, doesn't. like I'm. I I feel like you didn't care about action. Yeah, because again, I was probably gonna have it eventually. But mm-hmm. are you asking me how I had it? Yeah, go. It was. Oh gosh, into detail. Okay, I'm just gonna make this quick. It was one random weekend night in the first year of 2023. We just ended up doing it because we were curious, and I was curious. Obviously, it was weird at first, but then it was enjoyable. You know, it was mm. awesome. It was on my. It was in my bed, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you did. You lost it in your bed. Yeah. Dude, uh, you know how like some girls want to. If like, I forget this, then it's that's bad. But like, it should be in my bed. It yeah, was in my bed. You know how like people, you know, some people like people who can last long. <laughs> that did not happen, man. Yeah, bro. And to top it off with you, it looked negative time. What are you talking about? Because it was spring forward. Like, let's say you smashed at three, right, and you finished. It might be two thirty. It was the beginning of the year, not March of twenty twenty three. It was the beginning of the year. I mean, but that spring forward must have, you know, hurt your repertoire. You know, no, it, I never it must s- have hurt your resume because no. you had a negative time after that spring forward. I think I know what you're saying. Yeah, because like, you know, you do it for 30 minutes. It's supposed to be 3.30, but why is it 2.30? Oh, I didn't expect that. You are negative 30 minutes, brother. Mm-mm. How was yours like in the first time? Were you younger? I was 17. Dang. That's late for people, but... It is? Yeah, apparently, bro. White guys lose it early. Yeah. Yeah, I can never see myself doing that. That young. It was best for me to do it after I turned 18. People say that's a weird thing, but like, come on. Again, it's not on their priority because, again, we're, we're going to have this moment later. So I did have my moment later. It was great. It was good. That was my... You know, that was my action, I guess, per se. Did you say anything? Say anything? Mm-hmm. Did you role play? No. Did you did you do the avatar with the blue people? No. She was like, my Jake, my Jake. <laughs> nah. It if, was just, if you role played, what would it be? What? Role play? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Probably talking and... Dude, I feel like you'd uh, tell her to be a taco. Nah. You love Mexican food. No, I don't. Really? Not really. I haven't had carne asada fries or quesadillas in a minute. Okay, tell her to be mac and cheese. Oh my gosh, screw you with the mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is good, but I have, I've been titrating on mac and cheese. Yeah, but for me, it happened at 17. They're in a, in a guest room. And, uh, you know, at the moment, I felt accomplished because I was a little high school kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a public school, though. See, my private school never even thought about it. Maybe that's why that prevented me. I said but guest room. I know, but like you went to a public high school, right? Me, I think it depends on the high school and what you went to, public, private. Maybe for me, but I think it's private reasons. Are you saying what? Private, like you don't do this before marriage. Do all of it all after marriage oh you did the mormon route not the mormon route the christian route what mormon does that maybe because i haven't studied the mormonism or whatever you call it mormonology it's mormology okay mormonology but yeah it's not it's not that i feel so dumb me too so uh how was the interview with kyle that was hella long ago was it was it that long ago Mm mm-hmm it was like March. I say I failed on my end as being a guest. I was looking straight at that camera for way too long. Yeah, but we're not going to focus on that. Yeah. You were taken, and you're back to square one. That's all right. How, how did you cope? How did I cope? In a positive way. There were some negative ways that could have potentially happened, but I, I ended up never choosing. I mean, what's the route. most negative you can do, bro? Binge eat some Sky Flakes, gain no, like two pounds? No, people use alcohol, and I haven't used alcohol. I don't think you're the type to drink anyways. Yeah, but I wouldn't do that. The only time I did that was to celebrate at a concert, you know, mm-hmm. in which I saw her. I don't know if I told you. She was there at the concert. But anyways, that that's another story. That was fine. Yeah, the tell the story. Part, no, it was just she was there. 
made an eye contact with her. That was it. We didn't do anything, and then we just enjoyed the night. I enjoyed the night with the rest. Oz, the twins, Christine was there. Ollie was there. I just enjoyed the night with the squad. But we did ran into each other. We said we we didn't say hi. We were, we had we made eye contact with each other, but that was it. But I anyways back to the coping. I cope appropriately. I didn't. I knew I was going to tell myself, don't bring yourself down too much because everybody goes through this. I got advice from you. I got advice from Evan. I got advice from Kyle. I got advice from all other people. It was just unfortunate. It came like. What was the most common piece of advice people g- gave you? People go through this. She did the wrong reason. You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just going to be me or her that knows what went wrong between it. Until this day, you still don't know, huh? I mean, there's no reason to. She moved on. I moved on. She's having a good a good life. I'm having a good life. I would say, well, definitely, yeah. Because after after that fall 2023, it was. I think I was finishing strong. I'm still finishing strong. Well, people like I know some people fiend for the closure. Nah. And plus, why would I want to go back and waste my time and see if I'm gonna get a response? There's no point. That's true. There's no point. So what's in it for you now? What do you mean? Mm. Just just continue on and focus on myself and try to get better and how to be a better boyfriend next time, you know? Uh, do you think you're going to find her at work through Hinge, the app that's meant to be deleted, Bumble <laughs> or Tinder? No mo- no dating apps. I don't think there's... Try no Christian Mingle, bro. Nah. <laughs> not Dude, even a- I know some... That's another dating app that's not needed. I bet you that some girls in Christian Mingle make killer bread and wine. <laughs> nah, no dating apps needed. Maybe not at work. Nah, the at work they're just my coworkers. Some of them are cute. No offense, but like, can you repost this? Hmm? Can you repost the post when I have it on? Of course, I'll repost. I always repost. Do you think that uh, some of your coworkers are cute? Yeah, some. Not not all of them. Some. Oh, what happened to that Latina chick, bruh? She moved. She moved to SD and then went abroad to work um, to work on other things. With those Italian uh, mentals. No, I don't think she's doing Italian mental stuff. Just abroad for a different program or Maybe something? Maybe abroad for like studying or she didn't really, really didn't go in depth with it. She just said, I'm going to go abroad and do some work over there. Really? Yeah, she was awesome. She was great. Uh, was, was it because she was taller? Yeah, she was tall. Little, I mean, like, you can find a little, you know, you can find a midget. I can, I can hook you up with oh, some. No, you know. no midgets, no midgets, no midgets. Sorry, my dad's calling. Um, so where do you think you're gonna find the one? Hmm, it's a good question. If you don't mind me asking, what what year was your parents married? Nineteen ninety eight. I mean, what year were they? My bad. What year were they? They were 26. I'm going to be 25. It's fine. It's just that it's always good to focus on yourself and how to get better. Because at the end of the day, I think it's if you don't figure out yourself before you find that relationship, then you're kind of in trouble. You're kind of screwed. But people have that talent. People have that, you know, experience already for me. So you said find out yourself before you go out. I mean, yeah, everyone has that first. I mean, I'm honestly grateful that I had that first one with her. Thankful. Next, next. Just grateful. Like, I had that experience, you know. What did you learn about yourself? Um, How how could I be with a... How can I show the appreciation and care for this girl throughout that time? And then I showed, like, I did well, I think. There were moments where I could get better, yes. But it's just, it was a fun way of figuring out how to be a good boyfriend. And I think I show those qualities, the characteristics, the traits. A lot of people were on my side on this one. So I was like, okay, thanks, guys, but appreciate it. Are you it. throwing jabs? No. No need to. Why? I mean, just wondering. So what, what? She only did one thing. She was really nice the rest of the time. Me? I don't, really don't know if I was ever mean. What would Jerome, I'm a villain, argue about with the girl? As a villain? Villain Nueva, that's a play on your name. Oh. Argue about? I'm not sure. Trust issues? You cheating on someone? No, not me. I could never. 
My dad's calling. You want to call him real quick? Yeah. Did that was perfect. Perfect? Well, like, no, no one's perfect, but you know. Like, what I wanted to do, like, that's really nice. Mm hmm. Flowers every month. Are we monthly talking about flowers? Yeah, monthly flowers. Um, wanting to call, talk to her whenever she's free. Because she mm-hmm. had a busy schedule. Gosh, it's been a while, so I don't know. It's going to be. You're not missing her, right? No need to. I mean, I don't. I won't judge you if you miss someone. No need to. No need to because it's it was tough the first couple weeks. Like I wanted to see how she was, but then again, at the end of the day, it's not it's not mentally right to go text an ex that broke up with you to see how she's doing. Why is that? Is that uh by the rule of standing up for yourself? No, it's just the popular command or rule too. It's just that you. I, I think it's standing up for yourself. Really? Yeah. Oh. You know, like, you want the best for yourself, so it's best not to confuse yourself. Yeah. You feel me? That's not bad at all. But, yeah, it was. that's one of the three. I mean, always always asking her that I'm, I'm willing to pick her up, and I'm willing to pay for a lot of things. Can you turn the mic closer to you? Yeah, willing to pick her up and willing to pay for a lot of things, you know? How do you tell your parents that you have a girlfriend? How did I tell them? Yeah. My mom was at a sushi. I had sushi with her. I took her out. This shit. Did you make her choke or something? No. Like, I like. imagine she's eating this nigiri, right? <laughs> and like, I have a girl. <laughs> no, she was fine with it. Oh, I'm glad. You were, uh, I kind of had a feeling that you were talking to this girl at your birthday party. Because remember my birthday party, she was there. We were watching the Kings and Mavs game after the karaoke. She was there. So she met with a lot of people. She didn't really meet her yet. So, but like it was that moment. And then my dad figured it out that by, I think at home that night and he was fine with it. Maybe because it's my age and it was about time for me to potentially have my first one. No disrespect. Did they ever think you were gay? Hmm. No. You thought my friend was, (laughs) but not me. Evan. Because of how close he gets sometimes, bro. Evan, he's shooting shots at you. No, it's just how close he gets and has his moments. Let me ask you this. What would you tell your, um, if you were to go back in time, how would you tell your your younger self your first ever breakup? Like, what kind of advice would you give him? Like, like Dude, me, did if you- the technology was right at that time, bro, I'd get a USB with my brain and just give him the memories. So let him cope properly. I mean, I don't know if you cope wrong. Did you cope wrong or did you cope healthily, I guess? Or you cope not healthily? Well, when I coped, it was hurting other people. Really? How mm-hmm. when you co- how do you cope? How does that happen? Like how when you cope, how does it hurt people? I <laughs> I can't understand. I was a hoe. Oh. What are you talking about? Like well, you say when you cope. Well, like, back then. Yeah. Like how how did that hurt people when you were coping? That's just, that's just interesting. Well, I was effing around and it's self-explanatory. There you go. If I just figured out that one word, okay, I realize it. But now I think I'm a uh, you know, uh I did my uh comeback. See, I can never do that. I can never do that. It's just that just focus on yourself, do it the mentally right way. Don't mess around with other people. Yeah, I, I totally didn't do it the right way, but you know, you know uh, what, you know, I, I was in a position where I just had to be heartless, and I, right. I didn't have to, but you know, it you just came out. Comeback. You did make your comeback. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think I'm wholesome now? Yeah, of course. You got a wholesome dude. You got a wholesome, you know, relationship. You got a wholesome girlfriend. You you're wholesome now. You're learning to become more wholesome and. You know how to become better because at the end of the day, when you move on to your next relationship, it's always the goal. To There's get no better. next. No, at the end of the day, when you find that relationship, it's yeah, always good. It was better than the last. You didn't really you 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 almost cope with drinking, huh? I mean, I never thought about it. The only time I only thought about like I I can imagine you getting broken up with, bro, and then you're gonna be like, "This truly look really good right now." <laughs> Nah, it was just emotional. It was really? a like physical like it was where I wanted to hold up. The car.
card is full, my bad. What happened? I'm not really in the middle. What were we talking about? Coping. How we were coping properly, or it was either properly or not properly. As a psychologist, what is the best way to cope? Just depends on your situation. But I think the default ones are deep breathing. Mm. Deep breathing? What are you? Deep breathing is, I think, Japanese? One of the, no, it's just way to relax yourself and to just think and look back and to watch videos, like therapeutic videos. Would you, uh, what would you tell your younger self? My younger self? How like, far? L let's say it's like GCU freshman. Oh, I would tell myself to look forward to this new year. Try to be more social and not be awkward. You wouldn't give him answer keys? Answer keys? No. Why? Why would I do that? I mean, let's say uh, your advice would get him in the nursing program. I mean, I can do that because that's another what if potential. I mean, I could, but I don't want the guy to cheat, <laughs> you know? I know, but like, you know, basically know what's, you know, uh, like get get a good uh, background of the stuff. Yeah, I'll give him advice what to do next time. And I'll tell them, you're going to meet this good group of people. Go hang out with them more and get help. Mm. Sounds yeah. tough and bad, but I mean, I feel like that's the best way. I think I'd be disappointed in my freshman me. How come? Actually, more 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 so sophomore me. Because your freshman year was great. You were doing well in school. Maybe it was the sophomore year like that you just mentioned. Oh, shit, man. Sophomore was an interesting year for a lot of people. I mean, only two. Oh, you're right. Um, how come you're not fast? You know, like, you're not fast when it comes to getting a girl. Because... I really probably didn't focus on it too much. Mm. When do, w what age do you think you're going to be when you're going to be bothered? Bothered? You know, like, uh, let's say five years from now, you're still single and then you end up like 13th wheeling. Oh, man, that's tough. I mean, it never phased you, but will it? Ev eventually. Everyone's going to have that moment where they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I'm still single, you know? I, I mean, don't think you're going to still be single, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. By the time you're out there five years from now, you're probably already in the wedding bells. Oh, that would be a fun moment to see. But anyways, yeah, no, I will be fine. Well, you were slow in GCU. Dude, I remember you thought this one chick was very attractive. And then she shared a mutual attractive you know sensation towards you then you were so slow our homies ended up doing her hey man listen like i said it wasn't my priority that time i was so because i think the lack of experience prevented me from figuring those signals you know mm -hmm. yeah it was just the lack of the signals uh what what what's your biggest insecurity we're going to wrap it up in like 10 minutes. I would say looks in the past. But now, I mean, people are telling me, stop bringing up your looks down. Stop bringing that down. And maybe like the confidence to talk to people. But now I think it's getting better. Not in a less awkward way. You were, what's that called? Social anxiety? You have that? Kind of. Yeah. Because remember, because right now I think I do. It's just where... I get invited to certain parties, events. I don't go out much. Maybe you're just tired, bro. Maybe it's just that, honestly. It's either that or I just don't want to let's go out and see public. It's not even you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. It's just... I feel I just don't have that motive to go out. Uh, how was Sippin' News so far? Sippin' News has been great. It's, I'm glad you've added this to your repertoire and your forte it's been a it's been awesome like gathering your insight on a couple things and other people's point of views and their stories it's fun listening it's fun watching dude apparently a lot of people in arizona listen to it too that's awesome there's a big demographic in az really yeah i wonder how it's like 15 percent. that's still that's a lot 
I know. I just wonder how maybe it's just the multiple reposts and the story shares and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm one of it. Every time you post, I try to do my best to spread the word. Dude, I've heard you fart a lot. I fart a lot? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, is it from Evan? Mm-hmm. It's not true. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I hope it wasn't true because I had a couple nights where I was with my, you know, with my former... And she didn't say anything about it. So I don't... You, you think... slept over before? How many times? Sheesh. I can't remember. No, oh, whatever. Four times? Four. Shit, that's almost a hand, bro. When you uh, got into the friend group, did you feel adopted or are you the adoptee? Friend group in 2017? I felt like I was adopted. Who did that? One of you guys. It was definitely one of you, for sure. One of it was one of you, maybe the twins, Christine or Mary. It was one of them. Yeah. And then it was just the the best part is that we were considered an OG. Like I will never forget how that first group was, and who were in it. Yeah, that's one of the best years of my life, man. That was one of the best three weeks, bro. Like, uh, dude, uh, it's so beautiful seeing a friend group turn into a group chat. Yeah. And then into a fucking group. <laughs> That's just one of the nicest things in college. Meeting your friend group and like sticking with them years after you graduate. I'm still sticking with you because certain people from the group. I still try to like, I still see the. I'll be clothes. cool with uh, everyone if they're around. Yeah, of course. You know what's crazy? Uh, who do you, do you think you're going to have more friends in the future? Don't think so. Ever heard of that um, saying? I don't think so either, bro. Ever heard of that saying is that where you really don't need a, like, a big group to be... Closer to your mouth. Don't you don't ask. ever need a big group. Yeah. You just need that tiny group that you're going to consistently see. Because imagine all the large group. How are you going to see all of them? A lot of them. The small group is perfect. I mean, taken, if we move to Texas, we're probably going to meet some people. Say Texas? You, you want to move to Texas too, right? I've never heard about this conversation about moving to Texas. I'll visit Texas. Where do you want to stay? I have people, I have people, I have family in Texas. That doesn't mean I want to live there. Where do you want to live in adult years from now? Honestly, if you think about it, California is expensive. It's really tough right now. So maybe in a different state. You know how, is it really that bad? I Please don't say Jersey. Decided yet on what state. I have options. Okay, but if all of us moved, would you move? Probably. Yeah, because, like, at this point in life, it's not about, you know, we only live once, and we might as well have the most wholesome span. I'll move for the squad. Really? Yeah. But that's the hard part. You move with the squad, is, are you going to find your career with the squad? Like, are you going to find your own individual career while seeing the squad? Nurses are needed everywhere, bro. That's true. You're right. I'm pretty sure you're needed everywhere. No. You're licensed and registered. I'm not licensed and registered anymore. That was with the kid job. Now it's with the adults. But at least I got the experience. Really? Mm -hmm. Um. What, what's your type of girl right now? What do you mean? Kyle told me you like MILFs. No, I don't. No. What's wrong with MILFs? They're out of age. I mean, at least it's not a Josh Giddy situation. <laughs> Man, yeah, never, never about Josh Giddy. That will never happen. No, are we talking about personality, looks? Uh, looks wise. Always gonna be Filipina. It's okay. always nice too. Uh, that. can I can I run a test on you? Sure. Okay, guys, we are gonna see what types of girls Jerome is into. Oh so boy, here we go. All you have to do is say a number between one or two, and you have to answer it that's that's one of the rules this is the game that you mentioned huh mm -hmm. okay we have half white half latina and number two african-american kyle's gonna hate me for this latina half latina half white half latina he hates everybody man <laughs> he hates a lot of things Okay, number one is a Filipina model who has light skin, damn near white. Person number two, African-American. I think I know where this is going. 
I'm going to say Filipino. Okay. One or two? What? Is it just like me? No, choosing? say one or two. I like dogs. Don't fuck my dog, bro. Does it mean I want to? Okay. I don't need to. Number one, Filipina. Okay. With tan skin. Number two, African American. She's African American. She looks like she's Filipina. Number one's Filipina. Number one. It's just the Filipina jeans. Um, so basically you chose um four to five weren't African American. Is there a reason for that? No. I knew you'd say this. I knew it. I knew it. Mm -hmm. There's no reason. I just don't I don't have I don't have hate towards that towards them. I have coworkers that are African American. They're awesome. They're kind. They're sweet. But that doesn't mean I hate them. But I won't. I didn't say hate. But I would. I don't like them like that. Yeah. Okay. I don't like them like that. Everybody has their own preferences. I just like Asians. It's just the Filipina genes. Maybe it's because I just want to have a Filipina wife, and potentially help her cook. So it's basically yeah. Filipina with a sprinkle of dog. I can't picture it. I don't know what that means. Filipino. You chose the dog, so you'd rather fuck a dog than a cat. Wow. Okay. Now I see. Now I see what you're talking about. It's not a flex, dude. It's not a flex. Just the way you made it sound, it's not a flex. It's not a flex. Yeah. But I don't know. It's just I've never had the attractiveness towards that. Towards the Af African Americans. It's about the Filipinas. There was also a Caucasian and a Latina. I did choose that too. So you like Latinas too? They're attractive, yes. They're nice. You didn't choose the you didn't choose any African American. I don't know why. Huh? I don't know why. Maybe because I'm just not into them. Into the go those girls. You're right. Everyone has a preference respectfully. You have a preference. Eh? You have a preference. Everybody has a preference. Me personally, I don't think I do. Really? Well, my preference is Libby. Ah, uh, good answer. I like them thick. Shout out to Libby. Like, if I can choke between them thighs, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, if they choke me, it's going to be, like, high pressure. Like, so a lot of atmospheres. Wow. I, I wish I understood that. It's physics. I never took physics, so. Because of my science situation i never took physics did you take it i mean physics is more algebra -y, algebra ish if you think about it and geometry that's true because it was either anatomy or physiology or biology and then chemistry so after biology in my school it was either chemistry or physics where do you want to be in five years from now you know five years from now i'm gonna be 30 oh me too that's ugly. Yeah. Maybe. I Three years from now, Kyle will be 30. <laughs> man, no oh man, Kyle. But maybe hopefully my own place. Again, that long career job. Remember the consistent career job that I was talking about earlier? Is that the, 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 you said 40 an hour one? 40 an hour? Yeah. That's in a hospital, right? I think so. 40, mm. you mean 40 hours a week? Hourly. Oh, yeah. Because I know there are some psych jobs. It's, it ranges from like 38 to 50. Mm -hmm. Get that, bro. And then with seniority, you're just going to get paid more. And it'll be cheaper in Texas. That is true. I don't know why Texas is cheap. That's just awesome. But yeah, five years from now, hopefully I'm joined with the others. I mean, obviously focus on your own path. Don't worry about the others because they're doing their own thing. Mm -hmm. It's about you right now. And just hopefully doing well. My own place, maybe a girl, maybe not, and just living my life, you know? You really think you're going to be a single uh, Tito? I don't think so. But is there a high chance? There's a, there's still a chance. Obviously, it's 50-50. Mm. You know, it's either you're single, it's either you're not. But I don't see myself being single forever. 
I mean, okay. the past relationship, it show I had the showcase like of what I could do, and a lot of people thought I did a good job on it. Do you think with you, it's more personality or looks? Personality, definitely. You know, uh, I make fun of you, but you're not as, as ugly as you think you are. Thank you. I appreciate that. I you really ugly. do downplay yourself a lot. I that was during college. Right now, I barely do it. It's just that I there's no point of bringing yourself down. Because that's going to affect you mentally. mentally. Dude, you, you want to hear my impression of you? Mental health is important, man. What is... Oh, gosh. What is it? Why would she think... Why would she think I'm cute? Have you seen me? I'm not cute. I'm ugly. <laughs> that's what you used to do all the time. Fortunately, that's not bad. You're, you're, you're correct. I know. I haven't said it much, though, because there's no need for it. Yeah, we're we're all grown ups. People people won't gas you up because of uh, a damn self diss. That people will people will uh, negate your negativity back in the day, but we're too old for that. Yeah, we're because we can see through the compliment fishing. Yep, you are not wrong. Anyways, how was your experience with talks with the shooters? This is awesome. It was nice talking. You getting yeah, connected with the audience again. Or whoever is listening. I mean, thank you for listening if you guys are going to go see this episode. It's repost it. Of course I will. Every time. Especially if I'm in it. I'm reposting that thing, bro. Shit. Yeah. Well, That's was it was it a good interview? Did it feel smooth? Yeah. It felt great. We went deep into we, some questions. It was, major, it was like 80-20 deep, bro. Yeah. I'm glad it was. I mean, it's always nice to have those deep moments because that's when we'll figure out how to help each other and get to know each other more. You know when I act like an idiot? Hmm. It's a bit sometimes. I mean, kind of. I mean, would you rather have a depressed friend or a cool, like a a, a funny friend? Funny. Exactly. I mean, obviously, we don't want to see our friends go through depressive episodes. I mean, that being said... I only see you once a week sometimes. That's fine. Right. So why would I be depressed during that week? Because you have other friends that will make you not depressed, if that makes sense. Are you just talking about us? I'm talking when I see you. I act dumb, and it's a bit. I'm not actually stupid. No, Keon, this is just you naturally. You always troll in front of everybody. You always joke around with everybody. But is trolling necessary? actually smart in real life? Is trolling a damn, you know, mental illness? No. Exactly. So stop calling me dumb. I didn't. And on the spectrum. Did I call you dumb? You, you said no, I need to be in a psych ward. I did not. Maybe that was years ago before I understood what a psych ward was. No, it was when you you told Kyle that and he told me. Dang, Kyle, you little snitch. You said that to my face too. I did? Yeah. Well, then I apologize. Okay. What do you have to say for the psych ward people? Look, Look to the camera. Take your meds, listen to the doctors and the nurses. And if Jerome tickles you, get out. Report him. That's never going to happen. Never. But no, you're smart. You're going to do great. You're almost done with school. You too, man. I want you to get that long-lasting career. Yeah, I want you too to get it. At least it, you said you have a job right now. You're, it's doing, you're doing okay with it. But you said you'll see yourself, what, changing it soon, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. That's another episode of Sippin' News Talks with the Shooters. Follow Jerome on the Instagram. Say hi. Say bye. Peace out, guys. All right. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, comment, and subscribe. That will help out a lot. And our audio listening platforms are doing the most numbers. So remember, we are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Anchor. So... Have a good one, y'all. Thanks for tuning in with Super News Talks with the Shooters. See y'all. I have a frittata too. Alright.